Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today in this video, I have a showreel guide for you. I will explain you from start to end how you can make a good showreel and what are the key points you need to consider while making a good showreel for your upcoming job or for your upcoming freelance work, whatever the reason you want to make a showreel. So let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I have this uh, graph here where I'm going to explain you everything regarding the showreel. So while explaining you uh, the process of showreel, I will also show you my first showreel and my current showreel. So let's open this one by one and see the key points you need to consider while making a showreel. So if I open this one, you can see the first thing uh, we need to ask yourself uh, why I need a showreel. So obviously the first answer you get in your mind to get a job to having a job is very good. You can gain a lot of experience in this in this VFX field. If you are planning to get a job, you need to have a showreel. And let's see the second one. Obviously, the second one is the freelancing. If you want a work, if you want to freelance work, then in this case also, you, you need a showreel that is also required. So client can see your work and then they can decide whether you are a uh, fit for this project or not. This is also very useful job and freelance work. Now let's see the third one. Third is out of the passion. I saw many showreel on the internet. So they just uh, compile all their work and they just uploaded on social media out of the passion. This is another reason why people are making a good showreel. They added a cool music and uh, shots are uh, syncing with the audio, all those things they are doing. In this one, we are only focusing on how to uh, make a good showreel to get a job and also to get a freelance work. Obviously, we need to have a good experience. We need to uh, gain experience so we can get a freelance work or get a job. So let's see one by one and I will explain uh, everything as I can. As a compositor, what, what are the things you need to add in your shot and what are the things you need to add in the timeline, the elements and all those things and how to stand out, how your showreel can stand out from the others. So let's see one by one. So the types of shots. So if I open this one, obviously the first thing you need to add a king shots. So this is very common uh, task in, in compositing. In any studio, you will get a king shot. Uh, there is no doubt you will going to uh, do a king shot in the studio if you get a job or if you get a freelance work. So having a good king knowledge is very, very important. So make sure you put your best king shot uh, in your showreel and yeah the the green and blue screen if so if you show the both green and blue screen that will be very good and of course you need to also show uh, one very difficult hair key also interesting to see in your showreel and also if you have a small breakdown that will also very useful now let's see the second one so the second one is like obviously the full cg or cg with plate so if you guys don't know i have a deep cg playlist where i share deep asset so use cg deep asset if possible so i'm directly referring to my uh, playlist where you can download the free cg deep asset so you can use those assets and you can add those shots in your showreel but unfortunately i don't have a plate with cg i only have a full cg in the upcoming time i will definitely add plate with cg so the meanwhile you can use only uh, full cg and you can add in your showreel the next thing you need to consider in your showreel is camera projection is very very common task in compositing you can uh, project a dmp or you need to do a cleanup so that's why i include this point in this list so make sure whatever task you do make sure you have some kind of projection or cleanup in your shot and obviously the 2d element is highly required in this case uh, we are always comping 2d element like fire blood smoke uh, rain atmosphere on a live action footage to enhance the cg look what we basically do we we do a cg comp and on top we are adding a 2d element like fire dust smoke and all those things we are adding on top to enhance the cg look so that's why you need to have a very good knowledge about 2d elements and the last thing whatever you do above make sure you include your tracking uh, stuff what I mean by that, uh, so let's say I'm doing a king shot, CG, camera projection and fire and smoke. Make sure you include tracking in all these cases. Use tracking, use to be tracking, camera projection or camera tracking or vector based tracking in all these points. So in the slate node, so we can put, yeah, I did the uh, 2D tracking in this shot. I added a smoke element and all those things we can explain. So these are the things we need to uh, consider why showreel and the types of shot what are the types of shot we need to put in the showreel now let's see the timeline what are the things we need to consider in the timeline while making the showreel let's open this one first thing we need to understand the duration so i saw many showreels people are making five minutes six minutes long showreel which is totally fine if you are not applying for a job but if you are applying for a job so that time you need to consider the time duration you need to very careful about the duration of your showreel so if i open this one you can see the maximum 
duration you can put in your show reel is 1 minute or 2.5 minutes max for artist level why i am saying that if you are applying for a job the supervisor has to see your show reel completely right but they don't have much time to see your 5 minutes or 6 minute long show reel because they have many application on the line it's very recommend to make a 1 minute or 2.5 minute long show reel max this is very good number so you can consider this number and you can arrange your shot accordingly you can show your best shot only in your show reel that's why this these number are very good number so always refer this duration now let's assume we decide to make a show reel under 2.5 minutes so under 2.5 minutes i break it three stages start mid and the end so we need to we need to see when our show reel start what we need to show and in the mid how to engage them and how to end the show reel properly so let's start the show reel first so the first slide should be your your name your contact detail and your your role what is your show reel is about so you can see in my in my show reel i added my name big name and my role so it's a compositing show reel so i'm telling them it's a compositing show reel and the year also and my contact details for my contact data i'm just adding my uh, gmail id you can add your phone number also here you can add as much contact detail you want and after this one you need to show your best shots at the first so obviously we need to grab their attention and we want to show our best work at the first so they can watch the show reel entirely you can see i mentioned here clearly best shots i'm not talking about one shot i'm talking about many shot if you have multiple shot and you think this is my best work show them at the first now when you reach at the middle show different types of shots as we discussed here above you need to show king shot full cg shot camera projection l2d element shot so these are the types of shot you need to show and if i open this one and play in a sequence if you have a multiple shot so let's see if you have one sequence and you did vfx for many many shots in that sequence so make sure you show that entire uh, short sequence one by one you can see in my show reel so this is my latest uh, vfx show reel and in this one i have this aquaman and you can see i'm showing one by one the entire aquaman uh, shots and then i'm jumping to another movie or another project shots so that's how you want to show you you don't want to break the sequence just show the shot in the sequence so everyone can understand yeah so so you work on this movie and this many shot you did once you reach at the end end with your decent shot obviously you have you need your uh, decent shot if you have uh, like roto or something some some other shot so you can show at the end and the last time you can show this window again your name and your contact detail you can show at the end how your show reel can stand out from the others so let's open this one and let's see the points so the first one obviously we need to keep it clean and consistent what i mean by that don't make uh, don't make your show reel too complicated add a small text in the corner so we will see what i mean by that now the second is use high quality asset or use high quality footages if possible so let's open this one why i'm saying if possible because as of now i saw many show reels and i found one common pattern asset quality what i mean by the quality is it is not in the good resolution sometimes looks blurry artifact due to the codec compression if you use these types of asset then the show reel is not gonna stand out a very good resource for footage is action vfx obviously everyone know action vfx it is free and very good for your show reel they have many types of footages like green screen they have many action footages also with, without the uh, green screen so you can try action vfx and the quality is very good for the for their footage so i highly recommend using action vfx so this one i was talking about add little bit info about the shot that is currently playing on the screen as you can see uh, in the bottom right corner let me open quickly so i will show you what i mean if i open this one you can see so this is my uh, show reel shot and you can see in the bottom what is this what is this shot and what what is the story of this shot i work in npc and this is the aquaman uh, movie and this these are the things i did i did look dev cg uh, environment crowd integration and final tech check i mean the uh, complete shot age refinement and all those things so these are the things i did in this shot so that's how you need to uh, make a slate note and you need to this is the thing you did so that is this point clean and consistent just in the bottom you can add small text don't make a big text like this make a very small and you can add a little strip like this last point is get a feedback whatever you do in your show reel always get a feedback this is only way to improve your skills and your show reel at the end obviously feedback is very very important to improve your shots and your skill and your show reel at the end 
so don't think like i made this showreel and i'm done now no keep improving your shots and update your showreel with the new work we always have to update our showreel with the latest shot so i'm also constantly uh, updating my shot so this is my current uh, showreel which i'm which i'm going to play on the screen so you can check that out as artists we always have to improve the shots and we always have to update our showreel with the new shots make sure you do that and if you consider what i'm talking about in this one you can see this these are the points we just talk about if you consider all these points and if you going to make a showreel your showreel will be stand out from the others and you have a very solid uh, foundation so you can uh, get a work or you can get a freelance work whatever uh, you have in your mind just follow these things and you are good to go so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment below and i will definitely uh, try my best to help you uh, thank you for watching and we will see you in a very next one have a great day